Chapter 7 Glimpses of India Part 3 Tea from Assam by Arup Kumar Datta Pranjol, a young boy from Assam, and Rajveer are classmates in a school in Delhi. Pranjol's father is a manager of a tea garden in Assam. Rajveer is travelling to Assam along with Pranjol to spend his summer holidays with Pranjol's family. The train halts at a station. A vendor shouts, Chai Garam, Garam Chai. The two boys order tea for themselves and enjoy sipping it. Almost all the passengers in the compartment are enjoying hot tea. Rajveer informs Pranjol that 80 crore cups of tea are consumed daily throughout the world. As the train moves forward, Rajveer is excited to see the magnificent scenic beauty of the vast expanse of tea estates. At the back, one can see dense hill forests and in the front of the hills, there are vast stretches of tea bushes. Rajveer is thrilled to see the tea gardens. However, it is a routine sight for Pranjol as he was born and brought up in these surroundings. He tells Rajveer that Assam has the largest concentration of tea plantations in the world. Rajveer also tells Pranjol that he has read a great deal about tea and knows about a few legends regarding the origin of tea. One story is about a Chinese emperor who always used to drink boiled water. Once, a few leaves of the twigs burning underneath the water fell into it. The emperor found the flavor delicious and its leaves got the name tea. Rajveer also tells of an Indian legend about Bodhidharma, a Buddhist ascetic who was troubled with sleep during meditation. So he cut off his eyelids and ten tea plants grew out of those lids. Drinking the leaves of those plants when put in hot water kept a person awake. Tea was drunk in China for the first time around 2700 BC. Rajveer further adds that chai, chini, etc. are Chinese words and stand for tea. Tea was introduced to Europeans in the 16th century and they drank it more as a medicine than as a beverage. The train halted at Mariani Junction. The boys collected their baggage and got down to the crowded platform. Pranjol's parents were there to receive them. They drove towards Dhekia Bari, the tea garden managed by Pranjol's father. After an hour's drive, they entered the estate. Tea pluckers, carrying bamboo baskets on their backs, were plucking freshly sprouted tea leaves. Rajveer asked Pranjol's father, Mr. Barua, if it were the second flush or sprouting period which lasts from May to July and gives the best yield. Mr. Barua was impressed by the young boy's knowledge and he complimented him for it. A happy Rajveer acknowledged this appreciation and expressed hope to learn a lot more about tea. The theme of the chapter Arup Kumar Gupta, through the travelogue Tea from Assam, wants to acquaint his reader with a few facts and beliefs regarding tea. He also wants the reader to know about the contribution of Assam to the field of tea and its share in the supply to tea drinkers. He writes about the vast stretches of tea bushes, the legends surrounding the origin of tea and the interesting facts regarding its cultivation and consumption. 
the title of the chapter. Tea from Assam is an appropriate title for the travelogue. The entire account deals with Assam, its tea and tea plantations. The author gives generous details about the vast stretches of tea bushes spread across the landscape of Assam. The reader gets ample information about tea, its origin and the legends connected with tea or its journey to Europe from China. So, the title Tea from Assam is appropriate for this chapter. The message in this chapter The writer wants to convey the message that pleasure and scholarship can be combined to make knowledge effective and lasting. Rajveer is on a summer holiday trip to Assam with his friend Pranjol and gathers a lot of information about tea and tea plantations of Assam. He does a lot of research before he goes to the tea estate managed by Pranjol's father, Mr. Barua. It shows that doing one's homework before any new venture is a very valuable activity. Everybody, particularly the young people, should try to emulate Rajveer. The Characters in the Chapter Rajveer Rajveer, who has stayed all through his life in Delhi, has a novel experience of the vast stretches of lush green tea gardens in Assam. He has a scholarly bent of mind and loves to gather information about new things and new ventures. The information given by him regarding legends about the origin of tea and sprouting period at tea plantation are quite revealing. He is a curious boy who observes a lot and is keenly interested in new things. He is a lover of nature and enjoys every opportunity to admire it. He notices all details during his train journey and makes his experience fruitful. On the whole, Rajveer is one of those young people who love to learn and are inquisitive.